to episode 23 of Daggerfall. Today, I have to go to Booby Data and talk to Unsigned at the Screaming Porcupine. Booby Data is here, I remember that. And let's cautiously camp out as I travel to Buisidata. Jumping mercantiles, climbing and running have increased. So, what does the sign say? Buisidata, for crimes against sentinel, teachers of RK is uh, the sworn enemy of uh, teachers of Archaeus, the sworn enemy of Queen Akolithi. Teachers of Arche are, or uh, teacher of Arche is, but this way it's written wrong. Well, I don't care about Queen Akolithi right now. Wait, isn't she the queen of all Sentinel though? So tell me, where is the screaming porcupine, Mr. Guy? Northwest. How many? How many inns are northwest of here? Well, this one is directly west. Wait, no. Yeah, west. So it's this one, this one, or this one, or this one, I suppose. One of these four. Hmm. I should horse up. So, you guys, you could specify more. Where is the screaming porcupine? You have no clue. Really? You don't. Hmm. So, I'll have to check them one by one. Lag. No, I, ex I shouldn't have pressed F5 but F3. This is the bat engine. Find that screens. Where it is? Where is it? Hmm. You don't know. Is it this? Thing? No, this is the thirsty giant. He needs to drink a lake, but he is on an island in the sea. This is the screaming porcupine. Now, where is its door? Here it is. So, are you the unsigned? Mafel, she. I would prefer that nobody sees me talking to you. It has come to my attention that the Under King is being wrongly accused of abducting the Prince Star. Before you judge, check into the hold of Nucha. I'll mark it on your map. Who am I? Just call me a loyal servant. My name is Unsight. Now move away before anyone gets suspicious. Go on, scream! Okay, Unsigned. So, let's check my inventory. I have 88 gold pieces.
and that many as letter of credit so hmm. I don't want to put the horse on the cart but my short earth shirt so the horde of Nucha I am supposed to go to No, the heart of Nukta. Okay, it will take me... Well, I shall recklessly camp out and it will take me three days. I could somehow get there on foot even though I was on the ground. Hmm, those paving stone. Why were there paving stones? There is no road. So, time to enter the hold of Nukta. I didn't press left alt. But I shall save. Wait, I did press left all day as I was checking if it was recording. So, hmm, I wonder what the lever does. Does it elevate something? Hmm, it moved that bridge. Not that it matters much. Hmm, I see some spiders. Hmm. Well, the first spell I cast has to be Mark Recall. But after I rest and heal, I can cast some damaging spells. didn't kill him and he is now too close even though he's no closer than before hmm my destruction has improved at least that's nice dude that spider is gone I shall try to cast it on the other one it now costs only 73 Spell points. At least that one I killed. Spell sniping. Not usually done. And behind this door we have corridors. Spider? Indeed, spider. fails to paralyze me luckily but he was very poor poor either way hmm I am pretty sure this is a story dungeon but I won't look up the map hmm, rats or bats one of those I am not the one being shot with spells. Someone else is. Hmm. Who or why though? Hmm. Spider died, but um, I just went in a loop. Hey, show me the map. So. I went down here, down there, and up here. I 
I feel like I should explore the other path and it's still lagging, that's not good. Hmm. I mean, no, it's not a path, it's a wall, so... Let's just go here. This is the only path I can go. Perhaps I shall just shockingly shock you. Hmm. Good thing I moved the bridge. Oh, she probably fought that one spider that I antagonized. Or perhaps a different spider? Secret door that leads nowhere? Well, that's weird. Right. Luckily, I moved the bridge so that I can pass it. Potion of resist frost. Nice. If I ever fight anything that does frost. Hmm, is there also a secret door here? No. Spider probably has nothing of value. No treasure. Hmm. Skeleton is somewhere nearby. Either way, let's do the rent thing. Arrow, the candidate. Felicity complains that she and Diggle don't have code names. And um, Oliver brushes her off, but I think she's correct that they should have code names. Not to sound cool, but so that. Uh, their identity is hidden. Um, I know that uh, the police chief is working with them, but um, criminals don't yet know that Felicity don't <coughs> need to know that Felicity is uh, ally of the Arrow and well, Green Arrow now. When he keeps calling for her help with hacking, they will learn that a Felicity helping him and since Felicity is not a common name it will be obvious that it's the Felicity who is the CEO of uh, Palmer Industries which she probably won't like them knowing hmm. this is where that spider was So yeah, and Diggle, well, Diggle is his last name and there might be more Diggles, so it's less bad, but still, it would be better if uh, people didn't know his name. Hmm, spider. I can't shoot him. Oh, this just moves the bridge away again. Why does it do the hitting wall sound when moving the lever? And this is a dead end. Indeed it is. Hmm. I should rest up and he shoot the spider with magic. I need to train my destructive magic until I am able to use those spells without um, having to rest between every two spells <coughs> bad <coughs> mm, this is a sleep, sleep slope I probably should go to the throne room, which is clearly the way that spider came. <coughs> I 
and spiders aren't hostile to but that's apparently now this is a pit that I need to jump over like that wait a second that doesn't make sense the spider couldn't jump over it so I was probably mistaken as to where I need to go to the and this is where I have unfortunately been silenced but I am exploring the dungeon more and have more rent of the candidate so I already mentioned the code name things but I haven't mentioned more things such as uh, Oliver is worried that um, Fia might start, might accidentally kill some ghosts, but that shouldn't be an accidental thing. That should be that they are intentionally killing them so that the ghosts don't kill them or other people. Now, they are already shooting arrows into the uh, ghosts, so there is not much thing about them being non-lethal. But, there are... Someone might make the argument that they are master marksmen and not well, I am going to rest uh, and shooting and only non lethal out. just incapacitation <laughs> So I had been unsilenced for a few seconds um, And that they are only shooting incapacitating shots, but if they were then even slight movement of uh, the bad guy can turn an incapacitating shot into a killing shot. So that would uh, work in a long time. Now this episode does prove that they are calling ambulance on their uh, <laughs> on the stunned bad guys because of something that happened later. Um, the and that is. Um, that uh, Thea and Arrow, well, Speedy and Arrow, or Thea and Oliver, were fighting a bad guy who had a stunning electric button. Uh, at one point, Thea kicked him into a shell, then took the button and tried to stun him. Oh, the the other does nothing. Well. She lit him on fire, but it, he wasn't stunned and continued fighting. It's then considered a bad thing that she lit him on fire, but firstly, she wasn't trying to light him on fire. She was trying to stun him with an electric weapon. It, he just happened to be coated in flammable paint accidentally. Secondly, I would be happier if it didn't lag. Now. Felicity is at least using a staff oh. which Felicity isn't really using a staff it's <laughs> the canary who is and my thing in and out is a bit weird so um, yeah the canary or Laura so yeah, he was lit on fire and continued fighting! And when he was finally knocked unconscious and apparently transported in an ambulance, he killed the paramedics and escaped! So, had they actually killed him, it would have been better because then he wouldn't have killed anyone and it would have been one corpse rather than at least two. At least, because he might kill more people afterwards. That's an issue. Sure, it's it would be better if they didn't kill people. But when it's not an option, then they shouldn't act like uh, uh, it is. 
I'm perfectly at thing. the. Someone mentions someone running for the main. Someone running for the mayor mentions that the mayor's office has been vacant for six months. But the previous mayor was killed in the last episode, which was uh, supposed said, which I thought was like days ago. There was six months skip uh, between seasons, but the last mayor was killed last episode. So that's weird. Also, Thea's berserky combat style is considered a side effect of her being resurrected by laser speed. But what if it's just her basic combat style? I mean, she didn't really do that much fighting before she was resurrected, so maybe that's how she would have fight fought even before then. Unsure. She mostly just got killed in the first real fight before the resurrection. Hmm. <coughs> With the non-lethal shots uh, slightly missing and being lethal, I was thinking like a shot to break her collarbone, but uh, the bad guy moves his head that tilts his shoulders and instead of shooting through collarbone it still breaks the collarbone but also cuts auxiliary artery and the guy bleeds out could happen oh a skeleton killed a spider when I will cut back in I know I <laughs> well probably cut back in I know I noticed in mid video that I was not recording sound and adjusted it but I don't know exactly when it happened for now hmm. what's in here gold hmm. why are there s wait Skulls with candles in the skeleton room? That's interesting. Oh, we'd be candidate. In the end of the episode, there was yet another weird thing. And that was that Sarah Lance's body is almost intact. She was killed in the middle of last season, which was six, well, more than six months ago, actually. So she should be more in worse state than just having her skin be slightly bluish. She would, should be quite rotten, I think. I should look this up, actually. How much does a body decay in six months? Oh, I am coming back, so too bad. I am going to stop this now. Turns out I have been muted, but unfortunately I do not know how long. How much of the hero rant you have heard, how much you have not. Uh, I was going to try to levitate up, but I can't have enough spell points, so I am not going to do that. And I will just go up. Mm. So, yeah, that's a problem. I don't know how much, uh, how long I have been muted. So, whatever I wasn't in for, I will have filled in with post commentary, I guess. So, yeah, I am pretty sure I wasn't in for the last part of the rant, which was that if uh, Thea isn't 
and the others aren't actually killing the ghosts, then uh, the ghosts can just uh, uh, recover from each encounter and uh, be trained by them. If you're not killing your enemies, but you're still fighting them, you are just training them up. Because they are not ever shown, they are never shown calling the police or ambulance on them. Hmm. I hear a skeleton. Probably in here. A skeleton and a spider. How do you have Wait, no, the spider is this, this part of those curtains? Oh, nope. Successful backstab. Accidentally. You pick up a death certificate. Hmm, what does it say? The third morning star, the third era 400. Two days I was sealed within this crypt without food or water. I do not know whether hunger or poor health will, or one of the uh, creatures who share this dank hole with me will kill me first. I only know that I will soon be dead and not even my bones will remain. Well, you are wrong. The bones attacked me. My hope is that in the years that come, this letter will be read and the sad story of Tarp, Prince of Sentinel, will be told. I am 15 years old at the time of this writing and have been plagued with bad health for most of my life. To the frustration of my hearty parents. Hearty? The, the finest healers and apothecaries in Western Tamriel have labored over my every cough and fever, but while they could save my life time and time again, they could not improve my sickly constitution. In respect, I received little real affection from the king and queen, embarrassed as they were about begetting such, such a cripple as their heir of the kingdom. I cannot say I missed the love. I received much attention from the doctors, priests, her herbalists and herbalists constantly at court. Certainly, I was not to be the sort of warrior that uh, King Cameron was, but one of my dearest friends, a priest of Stendhal, said that I might be the first scholar king in the history of Sentinel. My younger sister, Obki, was the uh, true favorite of my parents, athletic, beautiful and charming. It is hard to think of an uncomplimentary word for her. I am resigned to my imminent death, and yet I would like to see her once again. For six years, Opki and I were the only children of Sentinel. Eight years ago, a queen had a boy child and named him Greklin, after the ancient Red Guard word for strong king. Few speak that tongue any longer, but all the scholars and nobles of Hammerfell understood, and Greklin is a strong boy indeed. I have never so much as seen him cough. The queen's next child, born, born only a year after Greycliffe, had an even more ominous birth name, Lotun, second boy. Perhaps had I been less sheltered, more suspicious by nature, I might have read into these nominations. Lotuns and Greycliffe are common names in our family, I reasoned. Now I know that even then, I was disinherited, even if it was not official yet. For several months before Lotun's birth I, and over three years afterward, I was in the throes of a very serious fever. The doctors despaired of me, but somehow and very very gradually I recovered. 
For the first time and the last, I read an expression on my father, the king's face, that was not indifferent. It was disgust. That was a fortnight ago. Three nights ago, I was seized by men I had never seen while I was having a walk. My nursemaid stood by, watching placidly as I was gagged and tied and thrown roughly into a sack, but I do not know how long they rode with me. But I was eventually left here. When I finally freed myself from my bonds, I found that I was alone. My wonders have gotten me nowhere. This place is filled with undead creatures that prevent me from finding an exit. I have no hope left, but no fear either. A few regrets. Perhaps I, had I studied the magic instead of history and science, I could free myself of this place. One of my tutors told the story of the younger king, how he had placed his life force in the body of a powerful being and had thus conquered all Tamriel long, long ago. Had, uh, only, had I only had the strength of a more powerful body like that, but uh, it, I did not study magic, I studied history, so I leave this letter, not to revenge myself, but as a historic document. Okay, and uh, since the time ran out, I will see you.